Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt. Today, we are reviewing the most recent release. At least I think it's the most recent release, unless they released a new one already. Of Stag Jr. Which isn't Stag Jr. anymore, it's just called Stag. This particular bottling is 62.95% alcohol by volume, 125.9 proof. It is batch 23. C, which means it was the third release of Stag in 2023. I haven't reviewed one of these in quite some time, so kind of excited to do a little bit of a deep dive and get into this friggin' dear. My dear, America. Stag, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey distilled, aged, and bottled by Buffalo Trace Distillery, Frankfort, Kentucky. George T. Stag was born in Kentucky on December 19th, 1835. That was a good year. I got my diploma that year. I graduated cum laude, or whatever you call it. Stag built the most dominant American distillery of the 19th century on the banks of the Kentucky River during a time known as the Gilded Age of Bourbon. The distillery survived floods, fires, droughts, and even prohibition which was a bitch. Today, Buffalo Trace Distillery strives to carry on the tradition of its famous forefather. Uncut and unfiltered, this robust bourbon whiskey ages for nearly a decade and boasts the bold character that it is reminiscent of the man himself. Giving this Stag 23C a swirl. Yep. The more you smell Buffalo Trace products, the more you go, yep. That's a Buffalo Trace product, and precisely what I smell here. A Luden's Cherry Throat Lozenge. Aroma tates from this glass's opening. Vanilla wafers. Some white cake frosting. Without having another Buffalo Trace product to compare it to sitting next to it, the best I can do is say this really reminds me of a Buffalo Trace product which means that most of you Buffalo Trace lovers out there will be head over heels for this gigantic rack, even though hundreds of dollars it could set you back. I actually found this bottle in a store semi-local to here for $189. Did I want to pay that for this bottle? No, but I haven't had the opportunity to purchase a Stag Junior in quite a while. Like, I haven't seen one in a store in years. Had the price been 209, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But something that was under 200, the 189 price tag, I was like, okay, I'll do it. Based off of the nose, I feel like I know what direction this is headed in and that it will be quite enjoyable. I don't anticipate anything mind blowing. There's nothing aromatic about this that's telling me that like, look out bitch, this is gonna be one for the record books. Now this one seems like it'll just be one for the history books because it's a part of history. Everything's a part of history. Stag 23 seed on the hatch. Proof on that. Wow, 126 proof. It tastes significantly higher than that. It's uh that is that tastes 140 to me today. First taste, I can see why I wasn't like extremely head over heels thrilled about this pour when I first opened it up. In front of the palate, you're getting the sweet buffalo trace notes, that cherry and the vanilla kind of start to overtake the palate. But as it rolls towards the back, as it kind of finds its way towards the dangly punching bag in the back of your throat, you start to realize that something's changing and the texture of it becomes a little bit wonky. It almost has like a chalky residue to it. In my mind, I am picturing my children with sidewalk chalk just drawing on my tongue. Very interesting. Second sip. All the interesting things on this pour are happening on the front of the palate. All the fireworks are happening at the front of the mouth, like heart-shaped fireworks and like stars and like breasts-shaped fireworks, but it's all up front. All the good stuff is like happening up here. Of course, it's bordering on a 10-year-old barrel strength Buffalo Trace offering, so it's definitely not bad. It's definitely very good. But these bottles get tons of hype. So when you pay $200 for one, you hope that it kind of like 
lives up to that. And the more I have Stag Junior, the more I realize that it's just not a super complex pour. The flavor profile can shift a little bit, vary a little bit, but you're kind of getting the same repeatable offering over and over again. You kind of know what you're getting. Some distilleries and their releases, you could fall in love with something. Like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, for example. You could fall in love with that profile and then when the next batch comes out, you're like, what is this nutty son of a bitch? There are minute differences in each stag batch. They do change a little bit. No batch is exactly the same, but I would say that it's very rare for a stag batch to be opened up and be like, what on earth is this? This is not what we wanted. This is not what we were expecting. Like giving birth to a child with 10 fingers, but they're all on one hand. It's nothing like that. Maybe occasionally you'll get a baby with some back hair when it comes to stag batches, because for the most part, they're right down the middle and they don't vary dramatically. Stag 23C is an average stag for me, but an average stag does not have an average score because stag is not the average poor. Stag is very good to great. And in this situation, I will say that stag batch 23C receives a score from me of 8.0. Very good bordering on great. This batch of stag, like many other batches of stag, just is missing this little something, this maybe complex twist or second gear. It's like, it's missing something to really put it over the top. And maybe that's why they make George T. Stag. That's gonna do it for this video. Uh, if I had to give this video a score, I would say it is a 7.3, it was a good video. Nothing great, nothing to write home about. But they can't all be club bangers now, can they? Unless somebody remixes something I said in this video into one of those catchy songs that they auto-tune and put on repeat over a meme of me, then that would be awesome. But we can only dream. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on favorite Chinese takeout dish. Put it in the comments below. General Sub Chicken, so good.